This is Star's Galaxy Productions. Talk about my whole collection. I've been collecting collect with uh, Star Wars. From Star Wars Black Series uh, to action from Star Wars Field Games, Star Wars Squadrons, from Lego sets and many figures over the eras and age, from Battle Packs, and my first my first set review was the pull down on pull, pull down black orange X Wing. Then my next my next one is the Major Bond Tie Fighter. My next one was a AC Waiter for Mandalorian. Then pull down X Wing of Rock Skywalker. Then right here is the Resistance A Wing. Right here the Resistance Y Wing. And total here I have over 45 minifigures from all eras, or from all films, from all the nine films, f for now. And as you see here, I got, I got, this was my first, um, Star Wars lightsaber, and it's still functional. I'm about to show you right now. You hear the sound card, right? That was, was my first Star Wars lightsaber. Now, later on in the years, I decided to get, go for Black Series. As you see, the Black Series right here is the Kia Quelia and Star Wars Mandalorian, the Armory. So, next you know, later on here, I started to get a Star Wars game. When Star Wars Squadron was released and came out a little trailer, I started to get this game. I do got Star Wars Jack on auto, but it ain't in this video. Next you know, I decided to get a Black Series of Star Wars playing lightsabers, and this was the one with Kid Fistone. You see, the lightsabers of the back series are expensive, but not Kid Fistle. You'll get one sixty nine dollars on Amazon for two hundred inflation. As you see here, I did have a vent of this lightsaber, and again, I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you how it works. Hi. Show how it works like that. It works like that. But what it comes with a stand, it comes with other things actually. Comes with a belt belt loop. And you know what's so crazy about um Kid Fistle's lightsaber? It's a removable blade. Like it's a removable blade of Black Series. This is the only Black Series removable blade there is. Of back series lightsabers, and this is back series number 12 with Star Wars Kifisto. Now, I saw collecting Star Wars Legos when I was age 16. My first first one for at 16 was the A Wing, then Leon Years, the Paul Demo X Wing, Leon Years, Major Bionwax, HH Raider, the Paul Demo X Wing, the, and next you know, on what I got for this year. I did an event on that video. Check out in the comments below the description as well. I'm gonna leak now. All this I collect over the years. This is all I collected from Black Series, from Legos, for from lightsabers to Black Series lightsabers of ser Series 12. Basically, I've been collecting Star Wars for seven years in the making, and this is just only just a collection for now. In the future years of 2022, I'll be collecting a lot of LEGO Star Wars sets, like the Last Jedi sets, Rogue One, Force Awakens, Black Skywalker, all the missing to this collection, and the Han Solo movie. It, it's gonna be in this. It's gonna be be in this collection in the future reference in years past of 2022. The thing about this pulled down X-wing in 2015 when it came with the Force Awakens. Uh, year 2015 came with a ladder there and good cut scheme. Came with uh, four main figures and it came with uh, R2D2 and Podama and Janna. Hissing about that spot there and that spot there. That's why I actually enjoyed there. And this is uh, a BB8, a, a, a regular drawing here for BB8. BB8, R2D2. Now, the difference between um, the these two X Men is the Colors and uh, and and others, and the bigger uh, difference is, is the bigger engines. The circle here compared to the tie trim. 
Now, ever thought the major fire would be a tie interceptor, but ain't. Unless you talk about the Kylo Ren um, tie fighter. Now, so yeah. They made a remake of this um, uh, wiring over the years. Ex X-Wing artists are remakes. Since the AC is where this went out, they made a new one for 2022. I, but ain't ain't that good compared to this one I have now in my position and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been collecting this for seven years. This worth a lot of money. I'm gonna give one good look at this collection by now. Pull down X Wing 2020, 2015. Pull down X Wing. What ACS Raider, Armor Marauder, Stars Haswell. Lifesaver, made the wrong time for Lego Linfield Collection. I got 45 main figure solo battle packs, Y Wing, and especially Black Series. I'm collecting now the Armory for Mandalorian and Kid Quella, Real Game, Star of Squadron, and Jeff on Order. And that's for at least the Black Series Lifesaver come with a, a middle and a belt loop. For the for like saying this is a movable um, blade. I'm not gonna show in this video because I already did it in the event. But if you, if you didn't check out that event, check out below in my channel, Stars Galaxy Productions. So yeah, I've been collecting for seven long years, and we're in 2022. Take it out. I've been collecting the year of 2015 when the first Lego set came out. of the movie of Force Awakens pulled down X Wing to now. From then, today, and forever of the Star Wars collection and values. So yeah, this has been the Star Wars Galaxy Productions. Like and subscribe to this channel. And may the force be with you. And this is the collection of 2022 of all Star Wars history and collectibles and items. From Lego, from Black Series, from Lightsabers. May the force be with you. And remember, the force will be with you always. Peace.